Sorbet. Sorbet is technically like ice cream, but it is not ice cream. What I mean to say is, sorbet has 0% dairy in it. It has no milk or no cream or any dairy you can think of. It's just straight up from 100% real fruits like this. This is an orange sorbet what I'm going to make today. And from down is the actual orange peel which I put in the freezer last night and it's rock hard now. So today we'll be making up some orange sorbets. And believe me or not, this thing tastes so good. So without any further delay, let's just start it up. Shall we? For making your orange sorbet, first we'll start off by taking some oranges. And first we'll start by juicing them up. So first we'll take up a chopping board and slice up our oranges into halves. You can also buy pre-made orange juice which usually comes in tetra packs but the fresher the orange is the better your sorbet will taste. So first, then we'll start by juicing up our oranges. We need approximately of 600 ml of orange juice. For juicing your oranges, you can also use electronic juicers or hand juicers like this. Guys, while I'm juicing this orange, make sure you guys toss a like to this video and hit the subscribe button. So guys, I have finally squeezed up 600 ml of orange juice. It took me approximately 15 oranges. And actually this needed a lot of hard work. Because they say mehnat ka fal hamesha meeta hota hai. Then we'll take up a saucepan and first we'll start off by making up our simple syrup, which is the normal sugar syrup what we make. You have taken half a cup of sugar and now let's add it to a saucepan. Once you feel a pan is heated by bed, now we'll add on one fourth cup of water. And we'll wait until all of the sugar dissolves and keep your flame on medium. Once you see your sugar is nearly to dissolve, now we'll add on some orange zest. And then we'll mix it until all of your sugar gets dissolved. Once your sugar syrup is ready, it should look somewhat like this and now we'll wait until it cools down. Once your sugar syrup completely cools down, now we'll take up a bowl and first in that we'll start off by adding our 600 ml of freshly squeezed orange juice. Then to that we'll add on our sugar syrup. Once you add all of your sugar syrup, now we'll slowly start mixing it up. Then we'll squeeze up half a lemon. Catch the seeds through our hands and let the juice seep down. Then we'll give it a mix. Once you mix up your orange juice mixture, now we'll take up an airtight container. And in that, we'll pour in our orange juice mixture, which is our sorbet mixture. There you go. We'll put the lid on and we'll throw it in the freezer for one hour and then we'll give it a mix. It has been about one and a half hour. Now, let's give our sorbet a mix. You will see small small crystals on this side. We will just mix them up with the rest of our mixture. Repeat the same process each hour for two times. Once you mix it, it will go back in the freezer. And do it once more after one hour and then leave it in the freezer overnight for 10 hours. It has approximately been 10 hours and now let's check on our sorbet. 
Just look at that glossy color. And now it's time to serve this bad boy up. So you have taken some orange peel cups which I just cut this oranges in half. Remove the juice of it and put this in the freezer overnight. It's rock hard. First you start by scooping it up. Once you take a scoop, we'll take up our orange peel and just serve it like that. There you go, your orange sorbet is ready. Guys, while you're scooping, you'll notice that some of the large crystals are coming out. If you want, you can just throw them into a blender and that'll be into small crystals and then put it, in the, put it back in the fridge for about 8 to 10 hours. But I like to have the large crystals, so I'm just eating it like that. So guys, finally our orange sorbet is ready and now it's time for the taste test my favorite part these are the large crystals format if you don't like the large crystals format just take the sorbet out and put it into the mixy grinder pulse it and once you see the small small crystals coming back put it back to your airtight container and freeze it back for 10 hours and you'll have that amazing smooth texture but i'm not for the smooth texture guy i'm the guy who loves the large large crystals because those flavors into your mouth evaporate like anything now let's take a bite. Man, this is so good. It's like you know, it's like in the morning time now, and I just took a bite of something really cold. You know that feeling that comes right? But the orange flavor, man, you're getting the fresh orange juice flavor. So good. Listen to this. Super cold, super tasty and super refreshing. Make sure you guys try this recipe at home and let me know how was it made. Mm. This is a great recipe to make when some guests or your friends come at your house. You can just do a gathering and make this recipe at home. It's gonna change your life man. This is so good especially in the summers and if you like this video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video till the time peace